Hello everybody, today in front of me I have Samsung Galaxy Tab uh, A7 Lite and in this video we would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to begin with I would like to demonstrate that you can set up and well start using the face recognition feature. So open settings, then go for the security category over here. Let me find it first. So, or as it is more precisely called biometrics and security, then tap on the face recognition option, continue, choose what uh, method will back up the face unlock. So you'll have the additional backup screen lock method. You can either go for pattern, pin or password. I'll choose pattern. Then you can start scanning your face. Uh, make sure to rotate your tablet into a portrait mode. Then tap on the continue button, or it will be automatically it will automatically proceed. Now place your face inside the square frame and get it scanned, which I will quickly do off the screen. Already, my face data has been successfully registered. Now I can just go ahead and test it out, see how well it works. So I will align the tablet with. I mean the selfie camera of the tablet with my face and the screen gets unlocked like so if I will not point it towards my face as you can see the lock does not uh, get opened but the moment I align front camera and my face the screen gets unlocked so great success the feature works fine no complaints so far at least the next option for today uh, you'll be able to find at the display category so let me quickly answer it it is called the eye comfort shield so once enabled as you can see it uh tends the screen um tends the screen amber effectively reducing the amounts of blue light or to put it in simple simpler words uh, warms up the interface colors in here you have the bar that allows you to adjust the color temperature that will be used which you can also, and you can also set the custom schedule for this mode to be automatically turned on and off respectively. Already, the next uh, feature is how you can change the, uh, well, system navigation type, which uh, this option can be accessed also from the display category of settings. It is called the uh, navigation bar. So two options to choose from uh, as you could already as you could have already noticed up until this point in the video i've been using these five gestures but you can change it or switch it to the three digital buttons which will appear at the well, bottom of your screen like so more should i rather say old school way of navigating uh, that were that was more common back in the days in the older devices you can change the button order if you'd like to and the button uh, position from left to center to right I'm more of a swipe gestures guy so I'll uh, set it back to swipe gestures type moving forward uh, the next option is located at the um, accessibility category of settings so let's just go ahead and quickly enter it I'm not sure okay here it is it is in green the option that I wanted to show you is the is called magnification. Here it is. Let's enable the shortcut for it, which we can access through swiping upwards with our two fingers, like so. Once this orange frame orange frame appears, uh, that means that the magnification is ready to be used. Just tap at the uh, area of the screen you would like to zoom into, and then regulate the zoom scale like so you can zoom into or zoom out of something once you are done using the magnification feature just make the exact swipe i mean the same exact swipe i've choked it a little so yep already as you can see i'm not that agile i <laughs> was turning it off but it eventually should i mean i should eventually succeed already I've disabled it just needs a little practice uh, for it to be uh, successfully enabled and disabled by the swipe each time you can also uh, change it to be enabled and disabled by simultaneous press of volume up keys 
I mean side and volume up keys, uh, volume up and down keys, and triple screen tap. So choose whatever method works best for you. And we are moving forward to the fifth and final option today that is located at the battery, uh, digital uh, battery and device care category. As you can see right now, the battery percentage is not visible at the status bar. So in order for me to see how much battery I have left, I have to swipe downwards and open up the notification center. So if you would like for the power percentage to be always visible uh, right near the icon at the status bar, open the category of settings that I've just showed, then go for the battery. Then uh, more battery settings and turn on the small show battery percentage switch like so. Alrighty, so that would be it. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for your attention, and bye-bye.